the environment for you this afternoon and making the planet a more sustainable place to live. Some students in Bedford got a hands-on lesson today in high-tech composting. Might sound like an oxymoron, but it's not. Watch this. News 12 Shannon White shows us how it works. Well, this was the inauguration of the compost of the rocket, which takes food waste and makes it into compost, bringing home a very important science lesson for these students. We're going to get some food waste. We're going to put it into the, begin into the inlet of the machine. And for every bucket of food waste, who can remember what else we need to put in? Simon Webb, son of British inventor John Webb, gave a close-up view on Monday of the new rocket composter for these 5th and 6th graders at Ripper Wampsiskwa Upper School in Bedford. There are only five of these machines which turn food trash into fertilizer in the United States. This is the largest and the only one in a school. It gets its name because it creates compost in 14 days, much faster than normal. We'd like to see a lot more people doing the right thing with their organic waste, whether it's using a rocket or using another type of system. The machines cost anywhere from $20,000 to $90,000. The head of the school says it's worth it. Being able to work with our students to, to learn about the importance of uh, sustainability and having this hands-on opportunity is going to be great for us. Webb's scientific mind, another draw. Mr. Webb is just a great guy. He seems like a great guy, and it also... Uh, makes me want to start inventing stuff. And just around the corner, workers began preparing a large garden plot, which will utilize the compost. It's good to compost because we could build more, I mean, we can make, make build our garden and make the environment better. Officials here at the school saying that this composter will actually pay for itself within two years' time, but the benefits not only for the students but for the larger community will be much longer lasting. In Bedford, Shannon White, News 12.